inspiration for our sub, Bogus Bantoid, was uh, the flapping wing motion of a manta ray. We uh, wanted to try something different for this race, and uh, in the past we've done um, a swimming fish, and in order, staying with the uh, nature theme of our designs, we decided to go with the manta ray. Uh, the wings actually propel the craft by moving up and down, as uh, we've seen, and the rubber sheeting in the back rotates the pivots the wing to where we pick up a pocket of water in here and twist the wing so the angle of attack of the wing is going upwards into the flow of water. As the wing flips direction and starts to come back down, the water pressure from below flips it the other way and the wing comes down in its proper attitude. So for each, each uh, cycle of the wing, it will flip back and forth. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of work in the whole thing between, the hull was probably the most labor intensive because it was, you know, laying one three quarter inch cedar strip at a time and gluing it on and, you know, it was a very small piece work, but uh, it was a labor of love, so it didn't really matter how long it took. It's as hard to pedal as I, as I want to make it because if I go slowly, it's, there's a lot less resistance on it. But if I really want to, you know, kick it into gear, I can, I get a lot of resistance back. So the hard part about it is the steering, I think. That's the most difficult. But the pedaling is, is not too bad. It looks beautiful in the water. The, uh, just the way the, the wings work. You know, you get the perfect billow out and it's just a great motion. The simple fact that I've, I've never really been in it and actually worked it before, I had a lot of oversteering. So I'd, you know, try and correct my, my path, but then I'd overcorrect, or I'd, you know, correct, and then I'd have momentum going, swinging me the other way, and I'd just keep turning. So that was kind of frustrating, but I think this time I'll be able to take care of that.